I am doing my campaign on autism so that people know what autism is and to give money to Autism Ontario to help families like mine that have family members with autism. I have autism. I am high functioning with an Asperger's diagnosis. That means I am more capable of some things than people with a lower functioning form of autism are able to do. My Asperger's syndrome means that I have a harder time understanding language and more difficulty understanding it from a social perspective. I take things very literally and don't always understand jokes or sarcasm. For example, if you told me to walk a mile in your shoes, I would go look for your shoes. Another good example is when my mom told me I needed to pull up my socks. I literally bent over to pull up my socks and didn't understand why my mom smiled and laughed a little. Then she explained that she meant I needed to work a little bit harder on what I was doing. I also have some very big interest in life, like this campaign and other public interest stories, like last year when I did my speech on global warming. I believe in giving things a voice when they can't speak for themselves. I think we just have, we listen to the things around us. They can talk, we just have to learn to listen. I also do some things most of my peers don't do, like knuckle cracking or twirling my fingers or standing with my feet crisscrossed. I do other things too. These are called stimming by those with autism. It is an action that we don't even realize we are doing. It helps us calm us down when we feel nervous or uncomfortable. I also collect things like Hot Wheel cars, monster trucks, and Beyblades. I know which ones I have, which ones I need, and where they all are at all times. I line them up, and there is an order and purpose for doing the things the way I do. I also know if someone has moved something from his place, sometimes make me mad if I, I get frustrated. Other things that my Asperger's causes me to do is follow a pattern or routine. I have difficulty when things change, especially if it's unexpected. This can happen with daily activities like what I eat, when I eat, when I leave for school, what I wear, what time classes are, and more. I have very hard time with things changing and understanding why. I get stuck on it, like Walmart just stopped selling Beyblades, no warning or nothing. And this makes me really mad now. And even now I know they aren't there, I keep, but I keep going back to look for them, just to make sure. I have a hard time with the way my senses work, taste, smell, color, noises, and the feeling of some things. These are called sensory issues. I don't like ta taking the bus to or from school because it's very loud. People talking, people laughing, people yelling, the doors opening and closing, coats and backpacks bowling, rubbing on the seats, the noises of the motor and tires on the pavement, the brakes rubbing. I hear all this and it is loud. I like the same food the same way all the time. I eat until I am literally sick of it. I am not very good with trying new things. I like what I like and sometimes have a weird feeling in my mouth and I have a huge problem with food touching another food. That means the peas can't touch the corn and the gravies and or sauces should never be on the potatoes or french fries or chicken nuggets. And a hamburger can't have anything on it. No toppings, no cheese, except bacon. Bacon is always okay. <laughs> Some people might think I am just spoiled or too picky, but it's the way my senses work. And if it's any different, I can't eat it. I feel sick to my stomach. I hope this helps you understand some of what it's like to live with autism. I want to raise awareness and hopefully some a pre some, some acceptance. Happy World Autism Awareness Day and thank you for being here to help raise the flag on this very important day. You're all awesome and your support is very much appreciated.